Right now to handle the form submission, here we set on submit to a function. So let's define a function called submit form that takes an event of type react.form event. So in the previous lesson, we talked about the change event interface. Here we have the form event interface. Now we say e dot prevent default to prevent the default submission of the form. So we can do everything on the client. And once again, here we have IntelliSense. So if you type e dot, we can see all the properties and methods of this event object. Beautiful. So e dot prevent default. Now, before going further, let's just log the title on the console to make sure all this plumbing works, all the basic integration works. So let's log the title. And then we pass submit form over here. Let's test our implementation. So back in the browser, let's bring up the console type something, click. Okay, we have the title, beautiful. Now let's implement adding a reminder. Now, we're not gonna implement that logic in this component because that's the responsibility of the app component because this is where the state lives, right? So similar to removing reminders, we're gonna define a function for adding a reminder and then pass that as a callback to our child component. So let's define a function called add reminder that takes a title of type string. Now, once again, before getting distracted with too much complexity around adding a reminder, I just wanna log the title on the console to make sure that the integration between these components works. So we log the title, then we need to pass this function as a prop to the new reminder component. So on add reminder, we set it to add reminder. Now we have a compilation error because this is not a valid prop for the new reminder component. So back to this component, let's define an interface called new reminder props. Here we need a property called on add reminder, which is a function that takes title as a string and returns void. Now let's add props to this function and annotate it with new reminder props. Now again, we can use object destructuring to grab on add reminder. And then instead of logging the title on the console here, we simply call our callback. So on add reminder, and we give it the title. Let's make sure our implementation works up to this point. So back to the browser, I'm gonna change this to B, add reminder, you still see the result on the console, beautiful. Now we're ready to call the server and add this reminder. So back to the app component, instead of logging the title on the console, we're gonna call reminder service, that add reminder, and here we pass the title. Next, we need to await the call and get the new reminder, which has an ID generated by the server. Now, because we have used await here, we need to make this async. And finally, we call set reminders, give it a new array with the new reminder, and all the existing reminders. So back to the browser, let's add a new reminder here. Okay, it works beautiful. And we can also delete it, perfect. Now, the final thing I wanna implement here is clearing this input field upon adding a reminder. So back to the new reminder component, after we call on add reminder, here we set title to an empty string. Let's test it. So one more time. Okay, the input is cleared, beautiful. Now, what if we submit the form without providing a title for this reminder? That's not good. So we wanna create a reminder only if the title has a value. So back to our form handler, right here, we're gonna do some basic validation. We can say if title is not truthy, then we're gonna return. Now back to the browser, let's test this. So nothing happens, beautiful. So we're done with this application. Of course, we could take it to the next level. We could implement a loading indicator. We could handle HTTP errors. So if you cannot connect to the server, then we wanna show some error to the user, right? But all of that is really outside the scope of this course because here our focus is on React and TypeScript integration. We are not building a full-blown React application. So I leave it up to you as an additional exercise.